Like he's not proposing. Like part of me was like that, but then part of me was like, well, what if he is proposing? Cause I felt like everybody was acting weird. <laughs> Today is an exciting day. I'm getting ready to head to the airport because my boyfriend is officially moving to Texas and we can finally be back together. Like this long distance shit, wouldn't recommend. So I'm about to go get my brows done and get <laughs> my lip wax. But yes, this is the airport fit. I'm gonna show you guys a bit very chill. Just some leggings, crop top and a little dupe lululemon jacket that i got from amazon and my louis bag so yes this is the fit because the older lady was in the eyebrow place and i just feel like i only like her to do my eyebrows because she know what she's doing she had this young girl in here like the last few times i went and she's done my eyebrows and she just never get this one right like this one was so thin but i did brush it out before i went because i'm like look I just want to clean up. I don't want you making my arches all like extra high and stuff. But yes, I am all set to go. I'm all ready. I just actually made a TikTok though because um, when I get to Detroit, I'm supposed to get my hair done tomorrow. And part of me wants to cut it, like, but not like a serious cut, just like a blunt cut. So we'll see we will see i just want to be able to wear it straight and it not look like all frayed and fried like that i mean granted it is blonde but like i want a clean crispy cut but i don't want to compromise like too much length with it so i don't know we'll see i'm gonna do whatever i can to keep the most length out of it so guys today's an exciting day one more day to john's going away party he's moving to texas with me and he's so excited show you what's going on here so i usually do like it's kind of dark in here i usually do my youtube uh my youtube videos in this office here and if you see my last video i did a whole video talking about how i was getting this office together get this to focus how i was getting this office together because my boyfriend was coming to live with me so he got a job down here in Dallas or whatever and pretty much I knew he was coming down here to live or whatever. I didn't know like 
if we were gonna necessarily be living together because he has a lot of stuff, he has a dog, and I'm just like, I really don't know the living arrangement. I just know like he's coming, so I'm gonna clear space for him. So, I'm gonna put a TikTok in here. Like, I was getting ready, I was excited. I'm like, oh, he coming to move to Dallas. We don't have to be in this long distance relationship anymore. So I was geeked, I was cute. My airport outfit was cute. And it's just a mess in here, y'all. Like, literally, it's stuff everywhere. But anywho, so I, I get to the airport. Well, my mama dropped me off at the airport, y'all. She was like, no weird. She was like, are you so happy that John's moving? And I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. And she was like, this is going to be a great trip for you. And I'm like, okay. And I just was, I wasn't, I did not know he had those tires out there. They will definitely find me. I need to, like, literally, when I say stuff everywhere, y'all, it's stuff everywhere. Anywho. So he, um, um, I forgot what I was saying. She dropped me up at the airport, and then I'm like, I had this little inkling. I'm like, is he gonna propose or something? And then I'm like, well, she's in Texas, so I don't think he's gonna propose. He proposed. <laughs> Look at this ring, guys. Like, um. it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. What? What do you want? You wanna say hi to the vlog? Say hey, vlog. Say hey, vlog. Hey, Milo, say we engaged. Anywho, yeah, so, I mean, whole time I'm thinking, I'm going there to help him pack. He's having a little going away party. I'm like, I'm going to the go away party. I'm taking my man, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, crazy thing is, y'all, I was helping him do a lot of the stuff for the party. Like, when I got up there, we had to do, like, ripping and running. We had to pick stuff up. And I'm just like, I started getting irritated at one point. I'm just like, why the are you paying for all of this stuff for your going away party i'm just like somebody should be throwing you a going away party like you should be paying for all this i'm like and so in my head i just start spiraling i'm like dog we about to move like why is he spending all this money um so i'm like okay whatever and then side note let me go back to this because i think this is a very important detail too so before i even left um i was talking to my friend barisha and she was like are you excited about him moving and i'm like Everybody just kept asking me. I'm just like, no. I mean, like, I was excited because we don't have to do, like, long-distance relationship. But I didn't think it was going to be something, like, that was just, just, like, dramatically different because we've lived together before. Like, at least three or four times we've lived together in our whole five years of the relationship. So then I'm like, uh, no, not really. I'm like, I'm excited he's going to be here, like, because I was tired of a long-distance relationship or whatever. And she was like, oh, okay, so y'all got anything planned, like, when you go to the city? And I'm like... I'm like, uh, probably not. I'm like, I'm like, I think we're just gonna pack. And me knowing him, I knew he wasn't packed. So I was thinking like the whole time we're gonna be just like packing his stuff and getting him ready to go. Um, and he wasn't packed, y'all. So we end up staying there a lot longer than I thought. So then um my friend came in came into town too, and I'm just like, so oh yeah, it's my grandma's birthday. I'm like Okay, so then like my other friend who lives there, we all went to high school and college together. I'm like, we should all get together since we're gonna be seeing each other. And they just all playing along because everybody fucking knew but me. But I'm thinking like, I'm inviting everybody. I'm like, are y'all coming to John's party? Are y'all coming to John's party? And everybody like, yes, we love John. We're coming to the party. So, um, anywho, I don't know if I already said this, but like we was going around getting stuff at the party. And I'm like, this dude is spending so much money on this party. I'm like, why is he spending all this? I'm like, people should be giving him money. He's going away. He's going out of town. And I just started getting mad. I'm like, bro, why are you doing all this? Like, why are you, why are you planning your own party? Why are you spending all this money? And he's just like, it's okay, Sierra. Just chill, just chill. But I was getting real mad because I'm just like, if somebody wanted to have a going away party, they would plan it. So I'm like, you shouldn't be doing anything but showing up. But anywho, we got to a big fight. <laughs> the day before and I ended up going to stay at my dad's house because I'm just like it just wasn't making any sense to me I'm just like this is dumb everybody's acting fucking weird and I just felt like his family was like moving all his stuff and I'm just thinking I just started getting overwhelmed I'm just like why is he moving all of his stuff into my apartment and we're not even married or engaged i'm just like that's dumb as fuck like i just started getting so mad because honestly like i still have a lot of my stuff in michigan at home and my i just kind of like blew up and then my dad was really trying to be peacemaker he's just like calm down just calm down like we'll find a solution he can put his stuff here like you don't have to take everything and he obviously brought every fucking thing because y'all see how like listen listen this this camera is not focusing but it's just stuff like 
and it's just like stuff everywhere and like at that moment i knew that i only had a one bedroom apartment 816 square feet i just knew it was just gonna be chaos and i'm like i just started getting overwhelmed i'm just like this is not fair this is not fair like this is my space blah 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 and i'm just like this just it just didn't make sense because i'm like we're not like married why am i taking on all of his stuff and like granted i wanted to be married i'm like shit we've been together five years i was like part of me was expecting a ring but i wasn't expecting the ring in this kind of way so like anywho i said we got to a fight so i ended up staying at my dad's house the day before his party which probably worked out good because they was all getting the party like ready while you know i was at my dad's house i didn't have a car so it wasn't like i can go anywhere um and then i woke up and i told my dad i'm like yeah i need to go to uh, target because I wasn't gonna go to the party. I was so pissed. I'm like, I ain't going to that party blah 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 I was just like this is dumb Yo, it was crazy. It was so dramatic. So my dad like, uh, I'm gonna take you to Target get whatever you need And then um, he asked me he like are you riding to the party with me because my dad was going like everybody in my family like Oh, yeah, we love John. We want to go to the party. So I'm like, I'm like he said he gonna pick me up I had an attitude about it and then he was taking forever to pick me up y'all i'm looking at like all my cousins and stuff location and like obviously they told me they were going to the party so they were at the location of the party and then i just started getting like an even more of an attitude because i'm like what the fuck i'm like my whole family is there and i'm not i'm like they don't want to sit around and like just be there and i'm not there i don't know i'm crazy but um obviously they were setting up for this epic cute little proposal so um he finally came to pick me up late i think the party started at one i think we pulled up to the party like three three thirty we stopped at target he like i need a new shirt and i'm just like because it was just like a navy shirt he was looking for i'm like okay we find him a shirt and the whole time i'm just like bro i'm, I'm ready i'm so mad at him like i just didn't want to be there i'm like uh then i put on my camera i'm like well let's do a little vlog because i wanted to like vlog this experience of him like moving but then it was like i still had an attitude but i'm like let's just do a little vlog so i'm like did an intro to the vlog and then so we pull up to the party and everybody just in there like looking weird it wasn't like as soon as i walked in like he asked me it was kind of just like everybody was standing around and I told you I was mad at him. So I went and sat with my own people. I'm like, this is my family over here. I'm going to sit over here with my family. And then um, everybody's like, oh, you look cute. You look cute. And I'm like, yes, Target. My outfit was so cute, y'all. Um, and then he was like, I'm about to, we about to bless the food. So he got on the microphone to bless the food. I don't even remember ever hearing a prayer because it just went into, I love you. And I'm going to give you your flowers. And then I like walk into this room, y'all. And it's just like literally all my friends, all my cousins, like handing me roses. And I had an ugly little cry. Um, But yeah, it turned out really nice. And it was, it was definitely a surprise. But just because like I'm a very like anxious person, I'm very like hyper vigilant. I felt it. Like I could feel the energy in my body. So I knew something was up. But then it was like, I felt like, in the past like i was supposed to be proposed to and then i'd be mad and disappointed because i'm like like on our fifth year our fifth year anniversary i cried because i'm just like bro like we went out to eat like where's my ring like i was crying so i kind of was thinking the same thing i'm like i'm like part of me like is he gonna propose and i'm like this I'm like this little, he ain't proposing i'm like and then my mom wasn't there my mom actually stayed behind to watch my dog and she tried like i was supposed to board him but she waited too long to tell me to board him so they didn't have availability but she was there on facetime but um so i was just like he's not proposing like my mom's not here it's just i'm like it's his stuff like he's not proposing like part of me was like that but then part of me was like well what if he is proposing because i felt like everybody was acting weird and um he indeed did so it's so nice and what i would have to say is like for the people who be telling people like Oh, uh, if he ain't married you in one or two years, he don't want you. Stop putting that kind of stuff on the internet. Because, like, I literally was in a tizzy for, like, the last four years at least. Because I'm thinking, like, I feel like majority of our fights was, I'm like, you don't fucking want me because you ain't put a ring on my finger. But when you see this ring, like, this ring is beautiful. It took time. It took time and money to get this. So, I appreciate it. And I'm happy. And it's a fiance so yes i'm super excited i'll probably put some like 
uh, footage in here. I'm pretty sure um, his brother is a photographer, so there are like professional pictures coming. But I just wanted to do a quick little video from my viewpoint and how it kind of went down in my head. And then like it was totally planned and orchestrated for like months, I think. So um, I guess like once we move into our new space, because we are upgrading our unit, I can kind of sit down with him and he can kind of tell you like the story from his perspective. But it was super cute, y'all. So, and then like after he said like, will you marry me? I'm like, yes. And then I said, I'm like, I'm sorry. Cause I was such a Like I was such a that whole trip. I'm just like, ugh, why are you paying for your own party? Whole time, the party's for me, so. I love him, he's such a sweet guy. So, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, and I'm excited, I'm gonna do like a wedding planning playlist for you guys because like, it's time to plan. Hey!